we're here at Unique. Where else would we be, Janine? Um, the other Unique. That's right, but we're at this Unique in, uh, where are we? South Plainfield, New Jersey. We're gonna head in, see what they've got. Hopefully some fun and vintage goodies or retro toys. And if you haven't hit that subscribe dinosaur. button, hit it now. And if you didn't hear that, Janine just said dinosaurs. Bag of girlies for $6.99. Not too bad. There's a little gnome guy, a little Santa guy, a little moon guy. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Not on sale though. Wow. These are cool, Janine. 2005. Oh, 99 cents. Yeah. Yeah, old Guinness. I like the turtle one though. Yeah, those are cool though. Huh. Wow. We still have a little bit of Halloween here too, Janine. Very little, but it's here. Mm -hmm. Even after Halloween. Look at this guy, Janine. Oh, a little no, parachute turkey. turkey. We haven't seen that yet. He's cute. Have He's we? cute. I don't, so. I don't think so. He's three dollars. He's a cute one. Look at these. Oh, those are good. Those are left in Janine. Janine's got an eye. Oh, Janine's got an eye. Got an eye $3, that's a good eye. Yeah. These are um, made in Taiwan. So these are like late 70s probably, but they're still really cute. I have a set in the collection. Fun, Janine. You want to hold on to these? Sure. What, did I miss something else? Look at these two oh, friends in here. Two little friends. A red one and a black one. Little Rosbro Snowman. How amazing. That's a great find for four dollars. That's really great. Wow. wow. And a bunch of wooden stuff. And little wooden things for Janine. Little wooden things. It's like a little back bean for me. Oh, little Rosbros are great in there though. Yeah. We love finding these. These are like vintage, I you know, plastic it. ornaments from the 50s I just and 60s. That's really cute. Oh no, Janine, what? These? Oh, how cute are those? Those are so cute. Oh, I like them. Made in USA. These are really nice, actually. Yeah, here you go. Thanks. These are fun, Janine. 10 light ghost sculpture for 69 cents. Oh, wow. That is so fun. Is fun. 1996. Wow. Oh. What a great find. I think, um,. I'm gonna have to get it. Yeah. This is cute, but looks newer. Definitely newer, but cute. I guess it's just like a little planter. Oh, oh look what Janine found, guys. A little Santa frog. Santa frog, and it's made by Russ. Oh, it has its original tag. It has its original tag. That's cute. This is Santa Evan Good. It's only a dollar. That's a good price good enough to pick up? I don't know. I can't. No? I don't know. I spotted this Mary. I thought she had a nice paint and job to her. Flipped her over. She's a Lego. Made in Japan. Oh, wow. And uh, she is $6. 25% off. Ugly doll. An older ugly doll. Babbo's bird. Here, see. I think it's an older one. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's $4, but um, it's not on sale. He's a cute one, though. He is. He is from 2007. Wow. Look at him. Wow. The older one. I also just spotted this uh, little skeleton plush oh, in there no, from Eckerd, cute. which is old, right? Oh. Look at that. Kind of reminds me of the Boobies. Oh, Janine, his name is Mr. Um, Bones. Ooh. It's only $3 for the bag. It might be worth it. Oh, man. It might be worth it. This is the thing, Janine. We look for Halloween year round, even we literally do. the day after Halloween. So I know. We end up picking up a lot. <laughs> Same with Christmas. I know. It's 24 7, you know? <laughs> 365. Stop. Doesn't stop. Look at this bottle, guys. This is so interesting. It looks like a Ramune uh, bottle, but it's Berkshire Mineral Water from Reading. Company, company, the royal, so the royal company. They have it for six dollars here. It has the little glass ball in there. That is interesting. And actually, I just noticed this little chick, little uh, little chick right above it with a little lamb. Cute. Finding anything out? It's Babo's bird. 
worth about $18 and he doesn't sell very regularly but um he's cute and he's from 2007 cute so he's an older one <laughs> what did you find oh a little key boy elf yeah there's two he's of them cute in there. there oh yeah look Isn't at him Two of them hanging out there with two some other friends, bag, I guess. The bag is $2.99. Oh, I also have this guy. I don't know what he is. Yeah. He almost looks like a the crayon. It's blizzard, so like the um, Dairy Queen. Oh, uh, maybe. Blizzard, I think. Fun. Yeah. I like that there's two in there. That's extra yeah. fun. What did you spot there? This is Made in USA. Made in Bees USA. and Jam. Bees and Jam. Wow, look at that. If that doesn't scream like 1980, I don't know what does. It's like brand new. Yeah. Wow. $10. Cute. Is it kids? Yeah, it's kids. It is, right? Wow. Mm -hmm. That Isn't looks it cute? like it came right up like a 1980s JCPenney's catalog. No. <laughs> God, Christmas out here. There's actually quite a lot. It's a nice nativity set up here. Chip though. This is cute. Village to Korea. Jack o' lantern. Cute. There's like a big Snoopy animatronic type thing down here. Oh, look at him. He's older. Cute. He's a little brown. Uh, but let's see if we can get a maker on him. Santa's best. Huh. $4. And oh, fine. I like those. I know you like those. Cents. I do like those. These are from the 70s. Mm -hmm. Usually. Fun. And then look. Oh, how cute. Little Rudolph characters in there. Mm -hmm. Cute. I'll I found this. see if I can find any more. Mm -hmm. I found this vintage tree topper for $4. Oh. It's very like taped up. So. It, it is so taped I know. up. Like, Whoa. I don't know why. <laughs> I feel like that's a little unnecessary. I'm missing one. Yeah, I probably won't get it, but these are so fun to come across. Some nice nativities here. Made in Italy. This one's made in Italy. And that one's really nice. Wow. No baby Jesus, though. Nope. Made in Italy. Italy. These are probably older, too. Wow. Big chip and dip set for $6. I'm looking for brass candlestick holders. If we find any of those. Look at Santa on the bell. Santa on a bell. How cute is he? He's cute. Made in China. Made in China. These are cool. They are 1989 salt and pepper shakers. Santa and a Christmas tree. Sort of nice. German Santa. Huh. Different. Bag of Angels has this little ceramic girl in there, which is so cute. And um, other little plasticky looking Hong Kong ones from the 70s. And the bag is 50% off, so it'll be $2. I might pick it up just for that little one. How cute. Find. And then oh, this is older. That is so cute. It's older, right? Um, Maybe, yeah. It might just look like brand new, though. Look at the label. Oh, yeah. Designed mm -hmm. by character. She's really cute. cute. Yeah, I love her little face. Cute, but I found something really cool. Found something really cool. Will you show me? Where's she going? She's gonna show me. Oh, cool. Is that a journal? It's a journal. Stop. That is so cool. It's how I got my shrunken head. I love it's that. The, is the book. A little bit it still used, has most but... of it. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get it. Wow. 99 cents. I don't know if it's on sale, but... Reading is a scream. Super 70s. How cute is that? I don't know if there's a date on it. But that's cute. That's definitely like a paint your own. Interesting. Hmm. $15. Is it a bank? Oh, it's just a... Just a ceramic? Ceramic. Nice. They gave him green eyes and some lashes. We just found, guys, another classic 90s pumpkin flashlight. You know what we say here, no pumpkin left behind. This is a great score. It's 99 cents, but I think it's like 25% off. Can you believe this is Look at you. Yeah. Finding the, the pumpkin flashlights without me. That's a nice one. Guys, we are back home, and I didn't pick up too much. I did pick up that little bag that had the little plush skeleton in him. He's really cute. And turns out there's a bunch of them on eBay. I guess Eckerd made quite a few. I think there's even a ghost or a pumpkin. So I will be on the lookout for more of those. 
And the only other thing I got was that little bag of angels to save this little ceramic one inside the bag. She is really cute. She is. I think the bag ended up being a few bucks and for $2, I think she was worth it. She is made in Japan. She's marked on the inside. She's probably from like the 1960s. So I'm happy with that pickup. Laura, you found this pumpkin flashlight, which was such a great find. We love finding these. We have a whole collection of them and we obviously could not leave this pumpkin behind. So we picked this one up. Even after Halloween, we search for these all year round. Oh yeah. So maybe that's the reason why we have such a growing collection. <laughs> that might be. This was such an exciting find. Um, so obviously on this channel, I'm always on the lookout for Goosebumps books. We're always searching every thrift store we go to, um, looking for the original printings of the Goosebumps series. And sometimes it's very rare, but sometimes I do find other Goosebumps stuff. Like two years ago, I found a really cool flashlight that's like new in the packaging. And that is one of my favorite Goosebumps pieces in the collection. And so I do look for like any party favors that were made, any toys that were made. Um, we have a couple of the board games, but I never found this before. This is really cool. This is a um, Goosebumps journal. It looks like there were a few pages ripped out on the inside, which is totally okay. I'm definitely, I mean, even if the whole thing was ripped out, I had to get it for just this cover. This is gonna look so good on our Halloween 90 shelf. I'm gonna look and see if there's a year on the back. There is no year on the back of this. I got it for 99 cents and I do think it was on sale as well. So it was really a great deal. On the front, the cover is from the book, How I Got My Shrunken Head. It's just so cool and it's such a nostalgic piece. Ah, oh, can't wait to display it with this. Okay, I don't know what part of the haul I'm interrupting, but um, we forgot some things to add in the haul that we had found in the video, so. And they're good. And they're like really good things. We have to share them and talk about them and show you guys that we did pick them up. So, here are some things that we picked up. This, all of the, all of these little pieces were in that big bag that had the two Rosbro plastic snowmen. We have one with the red and one with the black. I can't believe that we found these. You found them, Janine. You spotted them in that bag. I, I couldn't believe that we found it. These are getting harder to find. So these were made from the 50s and 60s. Uh, the red one is a little bit harder to find than the black one. And they were found together in a little bag. So really cute little set. These are some of the more common Rosbros. These are maybe the most common piece to find alongside some Santas. But like Janine said, they're getting harder and harder to find. I will take this as a vintage Christmas score at the thrift store. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> they just need to be a little cleaned up and they will look fantastic. That bag had a ton of stuff. Some of these wooden pieces I'll probably keep, like maybe the horses and the soldier right down here. And the rest I'll probably donate back to the thrift store. So we found these Lefton salt and pepper shakers. This is Santa and Mrs. Claus in the little kissing pose. Now, Mrs. Claus has the Lefton sticker on the bottom. These are made in Taiwan, right, Laura? Yeah, they are made in Taiwan, but they do have a very mid-century 1950s, 1960s ceramic look. I actually have these in the collection. They're one of my favorite salt and pepper Mr. and Mrs. Claus shakers. Um, and because they have such a good look, I think that they're early 70s. Mm -hmm. I, really, I don't think they're a late 70s piece. Um, and they are just so great. I love their little like chubby bodies. <laughs> they're really cute. And they um, are definitely one of the better finds from the day. I'm really surprised that they are in one piece and they're really not like the paint's all there. They're not like chipping. So fantastic. And guess what? What? They didn't come with free salt and pepper. That's always good. I mean, <laughs> as much as we do. like free things, I'll pass on the salt and pepper. Yeah. If you guys are relatively new to the channel and maybe you found us just over this past Halloween season, let me tell you, Janine and I don't stop looking for Halloween. No. Like, even though it's past Halloween, even though it's still 2023, we will continue to look for Halloween, like, all year round. And that's how we find some of our really good scores. Like this guy. He's mm -hmm. a really fun plastic, sort of lighted flatback. Um, he was like less than 69 cents. I'm pretty sure he was on sale. Incredible. Um, and he's from the 90s. 
This was a great find too because on his own he's fun, but I love it when they're in the packaging mm -hmm. and um, from the 90s. This one is marked 1996 on the back. Oh, wow. It has the year. So a true vintage Halloween piece. And so fun. I love these silly ghosts from the 90s when they're like sticking their tongue out. And <laughs> it's just so fun and playful and so nostalgic from our childhood. It's a Christmas dinosaur. I think he's really cute. I love how small he is. I think it's a, such a cute little shape. Um, don't remember if there was a year on him. Uh, no year. So I don't know how old he is. He could be from last year. He could be... 30 years old. I don't care how old he is. I just think he's really cute. And actually looking on the tag, it looks like he's called Jinglesaurus. <laughs> that's so cute. that's really cute. I had to pick him up. So that wraps it up here for the thrifting adventure. Oh. Oh, does he jingle? He does jingle. Cute. He has a bell inside of his little pom-pom. Love it. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but he is a true Jinglesaurus. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Oh,